Hello, my name is David Washko, and the reason for this message is to provide positive input, especially in a time where if we're getting caught sitting in front of the television too much, there's too much negative input into our brains. I wanna provide you a positive, motivating message with three things that we can be doing individually that collectively will make a difference. For the last two years, I've been coming to this dojo every Tuesday and Thursday night and Saturday morning, training people to remind them that we do not rise to the level of the occasion, we rise to the level of our training. I've been able to read this message every single time I come into this dojo, and this message is more important even in chaotic times than it is during the good times. And that is the purpose of life is a life of purpose. You were created on purpose for a purpose. Circumstances do not change our purpose. Again, you were created on purpose for a purpose. I want to give to you three things that we can do, and the acronym to remember is PGP. But first, I want to acknowledge that we are facing difficult times, that we are in a serious season of life, that every one of us needs to express sympathy and empathy for our neighbors. So I do want to acknowledge this. However, I do want to say that we are a nation of fighters, that we are a nation that comes together and overcomes circumstance. Fear and worrying certainly are emotions and are legitimate emotions, but they should be temporary. Giving up is what is permanent, and that is not the kind of nation we are. So in the acronym I gave you, PGP, the first P represents perspective. Our nation knows how to overcome crisis. Our nation has been here many times before. We have faced a stock market crash of 1929. We have faced World War II in 1939. We have faced the threat of atomic bomb, the Vietnam War of 1955, the stock market crash again in 08, 09. And for many of us, even the young ones, remember September 11th. So the first message or letter is about perspective. We cannot go into life right now looking at things with just our limited view. These are new times, hectic times. We are basically building the plane while we are flying it. So we need to be intentional with broadening our perspective. We're not gonna get that from television. Again, we need to be intentional. Here's what I mean by broadening our perspective and why it's so important. I think we all would agree that this bell is a bell. I think we would all be in agreement it's made out of brass or some type of metal. I think we all would agree that it makes a loud noise when rung, that we could probably find one on a ship, in a church. We would all be in agreement. Our perspective would be the same. However, there are two very special groups of people in our country that see this bell very differently. There's one group, Navy SEALs, who are training to become Navy SEALs will refuse to ring this bell because to them, when they ring that bell, it means absolute failure that they gave up. However, there's a second group of people that would love to ring this bell, and that's cancer survivors because this very same bell that means something negative and failure to the Navy SEAL training, to a cancer survivor, it means positivity, it means success, they overcame. So that very same bell means two totally different things. That's why we need to broaden our perspective in these times, to seek first to understand, then to be understood during these times. The second letter, G, means gratitude. Every morning for the last two years, I wake up and I write down three things that I am grateful for. It sets the tone for the rest of my day. It doesn't matter who you are or what you're facing right now. Every single person has things that they can be grateful for and are grateful for. This is a great, great way to remind yourself of the things that you've been blessed with. 
the gratitudes will help propel your day and impact your perspective. The third letter, P, prayer. This is where I may lose some people, but I hope by you sharing this message with others, we will gain more people into the family of prayer. In the book of Timothy, it says, you were not given a spirit of timidity and fear, but of power, love, and discipline. And in Galatians, it says, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time, you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Prayer is an important part of the aspect of overcoming these times, these, this season of life for all of us. So again, practice perspective, practice gratitude, and practice prayer. And individually, as we do this, we will make a difference collectively. I hope this message makes a difference for you.